What's up there? This is Mr. Mike Kaufman. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google's Tor Creator, which is a relatively new tool by Google, which allows its users to create virtual reality tours um, using Google Street View or your own 360 degree uh, image that you upload. And in this Tor Creator, you can add narration, ambient noise, descriptions, additional points of interest with uh, images, citations. I mean, the tool is super rich in its functionality and in the classroom has so much potential to really empower your students to create interactive tours of just about any location around the earth. Now, this is an in-depth look at it, but if you want to go down to the description right down below, you can jump around to different parts of this video by using the timestamps. Um, enjoy. Good luck. Let's go. Getting started. First step. Go to Google's Tour Creator by searching the site in Google or by going to poly.google.com slash creator slash tour. Starting a new tour. Begin by clicking the Add New Tour button in the left-hand corner. Then, add the title and description of your tour. Make sure your description is not too detailed, but still gives your audience a general idea of what the tour is about. Next, choose a category and add a cover photo. Your cover photo is a necessary step and should be an inviting image for your audience. Add scene using Street View. To add a scene using Street View, search for the specific location you are looking for. Adjust the map to find the exact location desired. Next, drag the yellow person icon to the point of interest using the blue lines for roads and paths or the blue circles indicating locations of 360 degree photos. Drop the icon where it is best suited. Edit scene basics. First, set starting view by dragging the screen to the exact position desired. Then, click on the set starting view to ensure it's what you want your audience to see first when they arrive at this scene. Next, add your scene title. Note you have only 50 characters. Now, add the description to your scene using your own words to describe and add context to what your audience is seeing. Finally, cite your source by adding your MLA citation to the credits. Edit scene. Add points of interest. First, click add a point of interest to your tour to draw your audience's attention to important information about the location. Then add your title and describe. Note you have only 50 characters for the title and 300 for your description. You can also add an image overlay to add even more detail and appeal to your tour. Make sure to size and angle the image to make sure it fits well into the scene. If you add more than one point of interest, you can reorder them by clicking the three dots and moving them up or down. Edit scene, add ambient audio, and add scene narration. Add ambient audio to make your audience feel like they are visiting your location. And add scene narration to guide your audience through your tour with your own voice. To do so, click on either the add ambient audio icon or the add scene narration icon. Then drag and drop or select an mp3 file. Finally, click add. Add additional scenes. Continue to build your tour by adding additional scenes, repeating the previous steps to create an engaging tour. Note, you can always change the order or delete scenes to improve the flow of your tour. Publish your tour. Finally, click publish to publish your tour. Make it public so anyone on the web can find and experience your tour or choose Unlisted, which ensures only people with the tour link can view. Tours can be viewed on the web, through Google Expeditions, or using Google Cardboard. 